Yo, what's up guys, it's King Sean here, and day three of training camp is officially in the books, and I will be talking about it today. You guys know how these goes. I'll show you guys some practice clips. Uh, I'll talk about some press conferences today, and I will talk about some plays that happened during practice. So, if you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on the 4K subs, so if you could, hit that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. All right, so I first would like to reiterate, again, no practice clips in this video or any of my training camp recap videos belong to me. Shout out to people like uh, John Kime, JP Finlay, Nikki Javala, Scott Abraham, all the media people out there during training camp. Now, let's get to Dan Quinn's presser today. He said that they'll work in more red zone drills today, which is what we've been doing um, you know, for the past two days and, uh, and then today as well. And then they fin they're going to finish with a competition between the offensive defense and also work on game and clock management situations. So they're doing pretty much the same thing they did on Wednesday and Thursday, which is cool. We'll probably get into more stuff next week, starting on Sunday when the fans arrive to uh, practice, when the fans can start coming to practice. And then DQ on the kicker position, he said that preseason games will be really important seeing guys make field goals, but also the new kickoff rules. Ramis Ahmed, the kicker we signed from the UFL, uh, I think earlier in the spring, he is here on the roster, but don't be surprised if more competition coming, Dan Quinn said. So yeah, we only have one kicker on the roster, but I wouldn't be surprised if we added another one or two more kickers before our first preseason games. I know the Lions kicker, Michael Badgley, just got injured. He suffered like a leg injury and is now out for the entire season. So luckily for them, though, they signed, they signed a UFL star kicker, Jake Bates, I think, to a two-year deal. So he's probably going to be their starting kicker. I really wanted Jake Bates, and uh, we held a workout with him, but he decided to go to the Lions, and which makes sense because he played with the Michigan Panthers in the UFL. So I guess he just wanted to stay in Michigan, Detroit. So that makes sense. But, yeah, we do need to bring in another kicker or two to compete with Ramis Ahmed because we really don't know – you know much about him we really don't know if he has what it takes to be our starting kicker and then moving on to what Dan Quinn had to say about Jaden Daniels he said that he is doing outstanding but Washington is not going to change their plan for the rookie QB DQ points out that it's only day three of camp so yeah Jaden Daniels he's been really good and he was really good again today we'll get to that in a bit but uh, yeah they have a plan for him he's obviously going to be the starting quarterback week one but they aren't going to not to now they want, you know, some competition between him and Marcus Mariota. Mariota has been taking most of the first team reps um, now, which, you know, you guys shouldn't um, look too much into that because in a week or so, in a couple of days or in, in a week, Jaden Daniels, he's probably going to get most of the first team reps. And he actually took some today as well. So Marcus Mariota getting the most of the first team reps, I won't look too much into that. And then finally, Dan Quinn said cornerback Emmanuel Forbes is 15 pounds heavier than a year ago. And actually, Forbes, after practice, corrected uh, the media and said that he's actually 17 pounds heavier, not 15. So that's really good that he's adding on weight. He, I think it was 166 or 173 last year. So, you know, he's 17 pounds heavier. So he's probably somewhere in the 180s, which is good. Maybe he adds more weight before the season begins. Um, we'll see. But, you know, a big you know problem as to why Forbes struggled last year is because of his weight his size you know he was just really small uh, I mean he was working against guys like DJ Moore AJ Brown who are much bigger than him so he needed to add some more weight add some more muscle which hopefully will make him you know more physical and whatnot and things of that nature so yeah it is good that Emmanuel Forbes did add on some pounds this offseason now let's go over some stuff that happened during practice First things first, Jaden Daniels did throw his first intercep interception today. Do not panic because this is going to happen. I mean, he wasn't just going to be totally flawless throughout in the entirety of camp. And I wanted him to throw an interception or two, maybe three, a couple interceptions because I want to see how he bounces back from those interceptions, how he, how he responds from adversity. And he responded well. First things first, he was picked off by Michael Davis in first team period. First INT of camp, uh, uh, Michael Davis said it was a breaking ball, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Lionel Willingham said, shout out to him. But yeah, it was a breaking ball, and it was just a really nice play by Michael Davis. But Jaden Daniels did bounce back nicely from the interception. He was sharp during 7v7 work. Ball didn't hit the ground once. 
and he had nice completions to Austin Eckler, Terry McLaurin, and Jahan Dotson per Lionel Willingham. So it's good to see him, you know, knowing how to bounce back from adversity like throwing an interception. So that's really good. Now, although Jaden Daniels looked good in 7v7 work, Marcus Mariota did not. He looked very rough during 7v7 work. He legit, and this is per Lionel Willingham, by the way, he threw the ball in the dirt on two straight reps. So, hey, man, Jaden Daniels has been looking better than every single court, every other quarterback on our roster, including uh, Marcus Mariota. So that is super impressive right there. Being better than veterans, man, I mean, that's really good. Uh, Marcus Mariota, like I said, has been, you know, getting most of the first team reps, but I would not be worried about that at all because sooner rather than later, Jaden Daniels will be getting most, if not all, of the first team reps. So that's really good right there. Uh, let's see what else. Zach Shelby, he said that, quote, seems like the offense is prioritizing runs to start the day. Nice play by, well, nice plays by Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler, and Jaden Daniels. Still very early, but this run game could be a lot of fun to watch. And the interesting thing about that is, is they're all you know, three different runners. They are different style runners. Brian Robinson is more of a bruiser back. Eckler is more of, you know, that lightning back, receiving back. And Jaden Daniels, obviously, is a dual third quarterback, but he's super fast, um, athletic. So they're all th um, three different runners. And, you know, that could be really good because teams wouldn't know what to expect. Say if we have all three guys on the field and we're going to run the ball. Teams don't know who we're going to run the ball with, you know. So they, they can make for a deadly trio they really could so i like that we're utilizing brian robinson austin eckler and Jaden daniels all three of them in the run game i really do like that a lot let's see what we have here Jaden daniels he's what he was back with the first team during 11 v 11 drills per line willingham which is really good rough stretch for the first team offense marcus mariota has been out of rhythm and dirted a couple throws drops by Jahan dotson and brian robinson so, yeah, the offense in 11v11 drills, I'm pretty sure, weren't doing great. And Sam48 put out the tweet I just read, so shout out to him. Um, but I'm pretty sure they picked it up. You know, they played better later on, so which is good. Uh, you know, we got off to a lot of slow starts last year. Jahan Dawson, he had some drops last year. So hopefully he can improve that drop problem from, this, from last year to this year. Um, and hopefully we can avoid those slow starts this year. Um, let's see what else we have here. Zach Shelby, he said that Sam Harmon got some reps during two-minute drills, which is cool. He went two for two, including a laser to Olamide Zacchaeus. So Sam Harmon, he's been making some plays um, during training camp. Uh, he made some plays during OTAs and minicamp as well, so it's nice to see him um, doing pretty well during camp. More first-team reps and Coleman still at right tackle and Lucas at left tackle. Been the look on the offensive line for first offense, for his first O today. Uh, Andrew Wiley, he was held out for the second half of practice today. I'm not sure why. I don't know if he was injured or they just decided to, you know, give guys like Trent Scott or Brandon Coleman a chance at right tackle. I don't know why he was held out for the second half of practice today, um, but we'll see if we find out later. Nice job by Brandon Coleman moving his feet versus Frankie Louvu in a pass rush situation. He's got good feet. This was a tweet Lionel Willingham put out. And I have high hopes for, you know, I, I feel like Brandon Coleman, you know, if we develop him the right way, he can be a really good tackle. Hopefully he can get that left tackle starting job. He's been doing a pretty job, pretty good job during uh, OCA's mini camps and so far during training camp as well. So hopefully he can get that left tackle starting job, but we shall see. They might just decide to, you know, start Cornelius Lucas because he's the veteran and maybe Brandon Coleman starts somewhere down the line during the regular season, but we shall see. And then finally, Jaden Daniels addressed the media today after practice. He said that his process of getting to the facility early hasn't changed. He said it's just who he is, which is a very good thing. He has a process for himself getting to the facility very early, even before guys like Jonathan Allen, Terry McLaurin, uh, Nick Allegretti, which is super, super good. Um, Jaden Daniels on competing for the starting job. He said, quote, I like competing. I'm a competitor, regardless if I'm announced the starter or not. I still have to compete. Can't be content with your job. It's not a problem at all. I like competing. So, yeah, we haven't named him the starter yet. We're going to name him the starter. We just don't know when. Maybe, like, after the first or second, maybe third preseason game. Somewhere during preseason. 
but he's going to be the starter. It's just a matter of when, and he doesn't mind competing. He is a competitor, and even if he was the name starter right now or not, you know, he has to compete. He can't get comfortable. I loved that quote from Jaden Daniels. So that is it from day three of training camp. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Like I said, I'm on the way to 4K subs. If you could hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. I'm not sure if we have practice tomorrow uh, because I think after three days, you have to take like a little break. Well, you have to give the guys a little break and then come back the next day. I'm not sure, but we shall see. I know fans are allowed um, at practice starting on Sunday. Well, yeah, they're allowed at practice starting on Sunday, so it'll be cool to see them out there. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it for today's video. And it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.